I'd like to start the Open Space Committee today, uh, August 15th, 2 p.m. at 2.03 p.m. Um, we are being videoed. Okay. First, want to review the minutes from the last meeting. Do you have any? I, I, I already did. Move that we accept the minutes of July 11th, 2023. Second that. Um, I think there's a correction on one spelling. Wensing want is Wensing Wang. Where? Where? Oh. Um, open Space and Recreation oh. Plan. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> that should be a G, right? Yeah. All right, I can fix that on the master one. Okay. I'll change my motion to move as amended. All in favor? You want a second one? Second it. Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, chapter 61 rules and regulations review. Um, we uh, haven't heard from what the council has said about them, but something interesting did come up more recently that might be, have been obliterated, um, missed on it is uh, we recently had this um, removal of chapter 61 land on U Street and the town principal assessor says that since the intent of this land is to be utilized for a residence of your own or your child, you are exempt from being subject to the town's first right of refusal. Therefore, the Board of Selectmen will not take any action on this matter. So that's something we probably didn't add to the, so we'll see if the town council catches it. And so that is the chapter, the next one is U Street Chapter 61 Re Renewal Review, and that's the one on, the one that says we don't need to do anything. Which, you know, it is near conservation land and other things. It's Paula Brulette's old piece of property that she put some of it in conservation and sold her house and some of it to somebody, and they're putting so they're not sure whether they're going to build a house within that piece that they, or whether it's going to be for them or for their son. So I guess we have no vote on that. What number is it? Um, let's see. It's right at the top of Martin Road, is it? Oh, yeah. Right at the corner there. Right. Up in peace. Right. So right where Martin Road ends and it splits kind of, it's yeah. maybe a little bit. And there's conservation land to the left of that. Right. So, but this, yeah, the strip of owner unknown land in there. Stuff like that. Interesting. No vote. All right, um, next one is the Orange Street Sidewalk Review. That was quite the trek on a very hot day. <laughs> Twelve ticks into it. So I'm kind of hmm? thinking due to some other circumstances that might be a moot thing to discuss right about now. Okay. Matt, can you confirm that? Sorry, I was we don't we're, it's not appropriate for us to discuss this right now. Uh, Orange Street? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, this it's part of it's not southeast Maine. Okay. Is it the same circumstance? Yes. Then it's a moot point. Yeah. Okay. So we will see what happens and pass over that for the... Move that we pass over the article, uh, item number four. I second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So, and so it happens for number five as well for the nine lots on Southeast Main Street. Correct. Move that we pass over item number five. All in favor? Well, you need okay. a second. Second okay. it. I'll, I'll second it. 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Madam Chair, mm -hmm. I know it's not on the agenda, but um, I believe there are two folks here watching our meeting that actually live on our street. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you wanted to entertain any of their questions, comments. Um, they were particularly concerned for that item on the agenda. Um, it's up to you whether or not you want to open up that discussion. I just wanted to let you know that that's why they're here. <laughs> um, should we allow them to tell tell us what their issues are and can? Sure, as long as they understand we have no no jurisdiction at this point. At the moment. But, yeah. I did right? have the opportunity to share that with them this morning, but you know, they, do, they do want to do so. You want to come up, sit up? Or you can talk there. If you're shy, you're or, if you're shy or not, yep. it doesn't matter. Come catch my cold. Whatever you want. Are those chairs up too? I'll pull one up. Chairs all over the place. Oh, yes. Kristen and Kristen. Jeff and men, 19 Orange Street. Um, so we had to deal with conservation ourselves making that house and um, we actually love that point of it. Um, we love working with the land and finding like raspberry bushes, blueberry bushes and the animals. So we love the scenic road and that's one of our main concerns is the scenic road and just kind of preserving the land and there's been multiple rumors and we're yeah. just figuring that this is open to the public so we should take advantage of it seeing it is our home. Mm -hmm. so we were so more just here to you know, listen but fact gathering information. Right. Yeah. So you're on the other side of the, the road? The, yeah. The, the yeah. west side? The three orange street lots are here. Right yeah and you're right. you're the yellow one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have a PDF of, well, that's the southeast main one, but you know, there are three in our yeah. lots over here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we didn't know what was going to be going on with the, <laughs> the driveways and all that, taking down the stone walls. It was. So what, what have you seen over there? They're taking stone walls down? No, no, no. Yeah. Just a, a bunch of signage and stuff like that. It's, I mean, it's pretty. A lot of posted signs. Yeah. Right, posted signs. Mm -hmm. like and tasks. For up sale. 200 feet. The there's a Excavators yeah. going up and down the road. The so. road floods a little bit more now since they started working up there. So we're just, you know. We're, yeah, it's all running down that. Yeah. yeah. Old, but that was logged part. previously by the previous owner, right? I, we're not we're not too sure we we there's always been a problem in that area yeah. it's just, just a little bit more kinda, yeah all up and down so we're just a like bit worse they haven't done anything yet and we do like the scenic road and we're nervous you know is it an we, established scenic road yes yeah so. 104 in town mm -hmm. and that's why we were just nervous that that was gonna change too um, that's all. yeah we're not very familiar with the whole process of everything so yeah. it's no, I'd be worried too. <laughs> so since I live on one of the scenic roads mm -hmm. in town, it's not foolproof, but I urge you to read the scenic law, uh, scenic road bylaw, so you know that if a particular tree has to come down, there's a hearing to make a space in the stone wall. There has to be a hearing, and there are other contingencies that have to be dealt with. Mm -hmm. So if you educate yourself about that, you at least can be aware of what has to be happening in the process. Right. Now, like, would there, down the road, like, would there ever be a chance for them to, like, be paving that road and all that? Or does it, because it's a scenic road, it's going to stay a dirt road? It, it's, it, may I, Madam Chair? <laughs> Sorry. Um, so it, it's possible, but what we've been doing with some of our paving projects in town, including South Street and North Street, is we're reaching out to all the residents and bringing in bringing them in for an opportunity to review anything that we're trying to do in the public place. Right. Um, I don't think that's been the process in the past in Douglas, I could be wrong, but it's something that we're pretty passionate about. Um, we want to gather all your inputs about streets before we're ready to do improvements anyway, find out if there's any drainage issues, spots, hot spots that we need to know about. Um, Orange Street being a scenic way, as Ms. Masinski pointed out, like there would be a public hearing one way or the other if you're taking down trees or adjusting the stone walls, and that'll go to the planning board. Right. So if, if for any reason, uh, if, if this is, ends up being house lots on those three lots there, they will have to come back just for their driveway opening along. So um, you will likely be notified since you're a direct butter right across the street. Okay. 
but it you, doesn't prevent it, the scenic road bylaw doesn't prevent the road from eventually being paved. Okay. To answer your question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How long has when did that property change hands? The Titopa Farm. December thirtieth, twenty twenty one. But for the New Year's. <laughs> He's been surveying and prepping for something that we don't have yet in our office. Just conceptual rumors yeah. like you've, most of us have heard, but um, part of the process for all the property would eventually, as you know, come for first right of refusal eventually. So. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad you came. So you Thank haven't you seen, time. have you seen any logging going on, any activity on in the last, since you've been there? How long have you been there? A year? Um, when did we Years? buy it? Yeah, we, we bought it, was it 2020? Or 19, 19, I think. One of them, um, and then we finished the house early 2021, so mm -hmm. a couple years. Um, I I haven't witnessed anything. There's definitely... I mean, I've seen a machine knocking yeah, trees down. and you can hear down, it, so, well. but I haven't witnessed any of that mm -hmm. personally. Just... Mm -hmm. But they still do have an active commercial logging permit for the property. Right. So they're allowed to do we that. We figured, yeah, yeah. We figured, you know, it's not conservation right. land and that, yeah, we get it. And it's a, the 61 is forestry, so. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Thank you. Good Thank luck. You. Yeah. Thank you. All right, folks. Yeah. But Are please, you if, you, if you do see something. Right. That concerns you, either conservation or Matt. By all means, reach out. You know, we only meet once a month, but it's the staff is here in community. Done. Right. Yeah. Staff is in community development all the time, so please reach out. To me. <coughs> please. Thank you. you can be Thank our you. police on. <laughs> <laughs> be the good neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Committee doesn't typically get visitors, so I figured I'd say I something. Yeah. Well, I saw them. <laughs> we are neglected. All right. Um, Walnut Street sidewalk review. Matt, can you call that up? Sure. Thank you. I forget what number it is. I'll just pull the name. Best sidewalk ever. <laughs> yeah. I'll just grab that one. Documented report. Documented the Beaver Dam. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we basically want Walnut at, um, at the Tinkerville at Tinkerville Brook. Right here, all right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, and then you could stretch it all the way to Chestnut if you want. Okay. Keep those right there. Where we had to hitchhike home. <laughs> <laughs> so the only tricky thing is, what? How long ago was this updated? All of this. Uh, I could find. Oh, let me try. Because the owner has. This is the most recent satellite I've been able to find. It is from Google. It just kind of shows the land does that. That's all we see. I think she's talking about the assessor map. Assessor oh, divided maps. Oh, oh, those, um, those likely won't hit our GIS until January. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I have a map here. No, I mean, we need to see this. I just, we don't need the exact, we don't have the exact boundary of the lots she ha has oh. sold. Right? I take me a minute, but I can find it. So. Okay, you only have a minute. Go! <laughs> <laughs> we have to be out of here in 15 minutes anyway. <laughs> no, because we were using, we were using the, the town's GIS, but then she has since reconfigured that, right? And so it's just what what I think we need to talk about today is do we want to make an offer to uh, pursue the west side and or anything right that borders Tinkerville Brook? The west side of the brook? Okay. Yeah, the west side is where we went in. Didn't we go in on the east side? I'm sorry, you're right. And then we the walked across the Beaver Dam and went to the west. Right. Yep. Yeah, and crossed. Yep. There you go. Great. It's zoomed in, but. Yep. We're talking about this one, right? Lot two. Uh, 
Was she happy with that, and or was she going to change that as well? Well, I know she sold. You know, we sold could see that right? she sold two. Yeah. PDF, so I can zoom out if I need to. Um. Yeah, it's number two that's in question, correct? Yeah. Oh, is it two? I thought she sold two. And she sold two. The one, so two is the one that, the river is not a lot. The next so one is one, and then the next one with the that one right there driveway is, That one right is there is sold, the yeah. one to the, the. Where your arrow is, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that was the second one to come out. Oh, so they're getting ready for the, uh, the next two. So we went in on the east side. East side of the river. Keep cursor all the way to the top, top right yep. there. Mm -hmm. Up, on the we other side of the river. The other side of the river is where we walked in. Okay. Yeah. Walked in there, took a wide detour around the wet area onto the. Pretty much we're almost on the It's not top Jefferson. Thing. What's that? Thompson Circle? Thomas Circle. Thomas Circle. Then I know we hit some of the Thomas Circle property. Yep. And crossed the um, Tickerville Brook at the Beaver Dam and came out onto Chestnut pretty pretty close to where we should have. So that's wet. Took a big long loop. Chestnut. See where the Chestnut Street Conservation opens up onto the road? Yeah, yeah further down. Nice. All oh, right, the right there. Right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. 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 Okay. Yeah, we came out a little bit so we came to, the right. to the left of that. Okay. This is where we ended up coming out, but it was it was close enough. Okay. Um, a trail all on that left side of that river would is definitely doable. Uh, the right side, it's not doable unless we're into the uh, Thomas Circle property. But we were on the right side for a good part of it, weren't we? But we were on the at Thomas the Circle property. Beginning, yeah, at the beginning, but then we were in Thomas Circle, plus I also think we were on to that other property um, right before Thomas Circle. Mm -hmm. uh, no further up. Follow that line right up in right up in there. We were off property. Okay. Only because it it was that wet in there. But like I said, definitely doable on the other side. Mm -hmm. So how to hook into the other side from? The other property. Unless we put a bridge across, that'd be one heck of a bridge. Coming in from the end lot to go over Tinkerville Brook to get onto that side and continue on. But well, at Walnut Street, we have an owner who's willing to willing to work with the town. Yep. And I guess we just. We, we need an indication from this committee if we want to pursue whatever's whatever she is open to selling or donating on both sides of the brook right there mm -hmm. that she has left because I don't think it's buildable lot at all anymore. How much does frontage does that one? Lot to have that we want to. Yeah. Right. Just trying to get the bearings because the line's being different. You guys came in off of this one. Yeah. Which is different. And that one's it's up here, but still the same owner. Mm-hmm. That one, if she does sell it, lot one, she's made it so the driveway is through the other property. Got 208 feet. That is billable a lot. 
There's nothing on it now. There's no house or anything. Mm -mm. Is that the one or is it the next one? Oh, okay, it shows the one above it. Yeah. Sure. That's the one that was got a house on it. That's got a house on it? Yeah. I don't think that it, oh. from the tiny writing here, it looks like 102 feet. I have 208 here. But this could have been split. Yeah, yeah it's reconfigured. Yeah, it was. Because yeah, yeah. you got 102. Point, That's hard to read. Maybe 03. I got 192. Plus 14, so they still got 200 plus. plus Remaining in frontage at 201. There you go. So that's still buildable. 201. There. That one that includes the includes the brook. Mm -hmm. No, but that's doesn't the brook have a setback? Of course, they got their own buffer zones, etc. But if you're doing recreational trails, that's that's a different story. You're you're more along the lines curious about a parking lot. No, I mean for her. To say it's a house, it, there's a house lot. You say that's a buildable lot? Uh, just by zoning purposes, not by building. Oh. They'd have to perk it. Yeah. yeah. What else in there? Tree house. Yeah. So actually, Floating technically, house. House from the center where that brook crosses to where the, her property ends is really not that far. Knows the water table. Yeah. We went in at the telephone pole, I think, and it actually looked pretty dry up dry in there. Yep. For a little, little And it ways. was a wet time. Yep. Okay. Um, yes, I think we should commit to continuing to work with her to get some type of access parking for this area. And so first we need to see what what does that lot actually look like anymore. <coughs> well we had the is that what you have, the chapter request? Yes. So I think that no I'm not sure if that stayed the same because then yeah. she was looking at that other, at that parcel, the big lot, 20 plus acre yes. parcel, yeah, trying to figure out if she needed that frontage or not. And I believe she does not. Correct. So it may be still what is reflected on that. It doesn't really matter where we're going to build a boardwalk across or anything later on. You know, we'll figure that out when we get to tramping around the property. But yeah, it, access from here would be definitely. Building corner. Yeah, and if anything happens to Thomas Circle, there'll be a hundred more houses. Yeah. So what else do we need to know? Probably just her updated plan, if she's got one now. I know she had one, but she wasn't happy with it, so I'm not sure. Yep. Is she looking to amend her lot lines again? <clears throat> um, it called for putting in a road, and she doesn't want to do that, so it was maybe mod it might be modified to be more of a shared driveway oh, right. <laughs> but we'll have to confirm that okay if i get anything in my office make sure you guys see it should we ask mayor get together with mary again and see um if you want i can make a call to her and see where she's at and then see if i can set up a meeting you want me to do that? Just to, we can look at the, you know, right. the rules and if you did want to put two driveways in instead of one road, you know, or something like that. How many houses on a shared driveway in Douglas? Just two, right? Two by right, four with a special permit. What does it take to get a special permit? Public hearing. Four or five confirmed votes of the planning board. 
But this parcel is on opposite side of where we're. Well, she was talking about the one right to the west of it as a family compound. Okay. Uh, that's like, where you get into the compound, needing its own frontage for each lot, and probably needing a road. That's, so. If it's a family compound, they make you do that? Mm. Depending on uh -huh. shape, but yeah, in most cases, yes. How do they know? It becomes a private way with a homeowners association if that's the case. That's what the Frontos did. Casino had to do one of those. Uh, yeah. So how do they know it's going to be a family compound if they just want to? Yeah. It's just engineering design. What they can and can't do. They'll, I'm sure their engineer will point them in a the direction that best fits them. But if uh, if it comes to them having to put in a road and that's not something Ms. Belch is interested in doing, they'll probably explore that common driveway idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will, I will do that and let you know. Okay, great. I'll reach out to him. Yeah. I wonder if we should do more site walks over on southeast Maine or see what's going on with those nine lots. We've moved on from that. Yeah. There's no. Okay. All right. Um, any old or new business that someone want, anyone wants to bring up? Um, as a continuation, I would like to put on the next agenda that we look at um, what possible open space opportunities might exist in other parts of the southeast Douglas area? Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Just a brainstorm, sort of come up with, you know, what kind of trails or are there other if opportunities. We connecting properties, then that's the yeah. best way to figure it out before it dies. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good idea. Kind of pull your resources, see what the needs are in that area. I think that's, that would be helpful. What section was that, Lisa? Southeast. Even along the border. <laughs> What are the blue dots? I just I just searched for Walnut Street and I got everything. <laughs> so I went on the um, Douglas website before I came here and it was empty. <laughs> there was no screen to be able to do, 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 you know. They were no government, yeah, that's what I did. Construction. Yeah, so the way the way we went through there is basically that we started on the east side of Tinkerville. And then it's possible if we if we added property that we would have to put in a boardwalk or something to get to the west side, but then the whole west side is pretty much you can follow the stream down. But then whatever happens on what is that? Chestnut? No, the new development that never oh, Thomas, 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 Thomas Circle. Circle. Yeah, that could that could be another key component to making more of a loop there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the way it's laid out now, there's only like access to the open space for the detention basins. But if someone comes in and refigures that with a different idea, we're definitely going to be looking to access that. Those space much that much retention better. basins run right down to yeah. where we go. So right. yeah, we went right by that. Mm -hmm. So I see that a lot in design. Like, Look, we're giving you access. It's like, no, we have to drive over at attention basin to get to all that space and find it to be usable. So um, if someone comes back with modified design, I, even without uh, hearing it from you folks, uh, I want to make sure it's accessible for vehicles yeah. or even horses or whatever. Not just, not just for maintenance. <laughs> yeah, it, 
parking too as always. Yes. Agreed. We got a lot of little just, slots to get into these. Yeah, sometimes the developers just try to give you the land that they find to be unusable. Right. Mm -hmm. And they'll give you a swamp and say, congratulations, here you go. But uh, we want something that we can actually Well, use. at least they're doing, at least we're getting the swamps rather than right. putting a house on top Agreed. of it. But Agreed. other than that. Well, that's sort of what happened with the Chestnut Street side because mm -hmm. you get you get down to the end and, what is it, 10, 20 feet, it's basically through a swamp. Mm -hmm to get to the rest of the parcel. Mm -hmm. Can we put a request in that for now on, if there's any meetings, um, presentations dealing with Chapter 61 property coming out, mm -hmm. that we be included in it? Sure, I could ask. It's, uh, that'll be up to the town administrator, but yeah, certainly ask. Um, it was be. one that we missed that I think we should have been at. Mm -hmm. I was at that one. Very conceptual. They didn't really have anything to give us other than the ideas of bouncing thoughts back and forth of what could we get in return, what could we do for you, what could you do for us. Mm -hmm. But uh, very conceptual at the very least. Yeah, um, but we didn't have our voice mm -hmm. for the open space and recreation components of that I voiced. I understand. And there's in the 1998 master plan, mm. it mentions Greenbrook as a priority to preserve, just in case you want to know. Oh, good to know. I appreciate yeah, it. And that's the beginning of the Chocolog River, too, right there. So. Mm. Thank you. I guess what, if there were an opportunity like that, would this committee like to designate a representative for us to contact, or should we reach out to you and then you decide who's available? How would you? Like well, we have a we have a website, hmm. so you could just put it in there and. I'll, I'll probably reach out to like you as chair, yeah. and you could reach out to them, or yeah. instead of waiting I'll follow for a, through. a meeting, yeah. like if this is like, hey, we're meeting tomorrow. Right. Who we would I like call? to know. You yeah. want to reach out to you, or because. Yeah. We get all we get all in uh, uh, email correspondence. We're violating open meeting, you know. So I'm, I'm curious if there's a certain one of you that would like to be the designee, or if this group would like to appoint a designee. That might be. I don't go on my computer every day. <laughs> <laughs> I can serve in that capacity. Unless she's somebody else phone wants to. Or, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much monitoring it all the time. Like if something like that comes out, I'll reach out yep. directly to Ms. Mazinski. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yep. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, Sue, can we go back to old business? Mm -hmm. Where? I, so I know there was some. Where are we with the open space and recreation plan? I saw Sam. Somebody reached Sam out. Sam Carter. Yeah. 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 Saying they were, you know, coming along, and he didn't have any questions. Oh, he. No, did he actually? Did he reach out to you, Matt, or she? I don't even. Yeah, yeah that was it. I'm gonna have to check that right now for you. Because they had. It was um, questions about yes. some of the historic. Right, and I yeah. I told them all the locations, yes. and then I followed through with saying, okay, yeah, if you want to know about, you know erosion and sedimentation and there were I said the that the highway department it was hit trees so John Ferno pretty much fit into all of those spots mm -hmm. too. So this is the this is sort of the MVP discussion we had with Danny municipal vulnerability study and everything and so again I feel like yeah something's been lost in translation. Well, I think we sort of said there was, I mean, we didn't pinpoint any erosion or sedimentation or anything problems. Yeah, but that's, that can happen from one day to right, the next. Right, right. You know, there wasn't, right. there at the beginning any. of the year, there was no, there was no uh, erosion problem on Oak Street, and now it's like continuous, so. Yeah. 
But that's that's the point of the stormwater management with the MVP. But did they reach out to you? I did. I saw the email as well. I I did the same thing. I asked John Fernando to look into those things, but I don't have any feedback from CMRPC otherwise. Yeah. But I'll follow up for you. Okay, thanks. Do you want me to email Sam back and see if he got answers to those questions? And if you sure. didn't, let me know. Okay, I will. Find out. I guess we should look at all the pieces of property in, that are in 61 and make sure that they are removed properly next time. Oh, what does share with Conservation Commission mean? Just let them know what we're doing and it hopes that they let us know what they're doing. So a feature on the town website to pull up Chapter 61 properties? Um, that would typically be your open space plan. Um, I don't have a data layer for it, but okay. I did, oh, this is some, some news, I suppose. I did um, purchase new GIS software for my I've been trying to do that since I got here. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't make the purchase, and now it's just the logistics of getting the user agreements and licensing squared away. And at that point, these sorts of requests are something that I might be able to build in the future as opposed to our limits with the web-based version of the software. Mm -hmm. So um, this is that's certainly something I'd like to put together. Uh, that'd be helpful for all of us, not just this committee, but many others. We yep. could get a list from the assessor and yes. get our colored pencils out. Yeah, there's ways to geocache that and put it yep. into it. Anyway. <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's good news. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. Once, um, and, and the CMRPC has those in daylight form in their own software. Now they could send it to us just as a PDF as a map, but I can't do anything interactive with it with the software that we have. Mm -hmm. Now that I've bought it, I will be able to work with that software and shape it in ways that you'd like to see. Yeah. So, I'm really excited about that. Yeah. We want uh, the assessor to make a couple of maps for us. I saw the request, yeah, and I saw the response Steve. being, yeah, we're very limited with what we have. Yeah. But now that I have purchased that software, it will take me some time to re-familiarize myself with it, but those are the sorts of things I'll be so able to do. So the assessor couldn't make us a map with that? The they, they're using the same desktop-based software, yeah. too. So, so it's a waste uh, to the, the actual mud and guts of the rest of the software uh, with unlimited ability is just something I'm going to have moving forward probably mm -hmm. in the next couple of weeks. Okay. It'll take me some time, yeah. but... Well, no problem. Good with that. Great. All right. Um, anything? Anybody else has? Oh, I'm good. Yep. We're just, just there's a town meeting tonight, right? There is Slackman. Yes. What is it? Slackman. Slackman. Yeah. Yeah. I mean Slackman meeting tonight. Board, board of Slackman. Okay. Could be interesting. Yes. All right. Um, is September 12th a good time for our next meeting for everybody? So far. Yeah, so far. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Uh, no. All right. Um, Move to adjourn. No. So, uh, second it? I have it on my calendar, the cranberries. Time to go kicking. Okay. 2.42. You can do that before the meeting? Or? Yeah, I think I might. Where? Hey. Secret spot. Oh. <laughs> Forget it. If you're late, we'll try all, it. all in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. <laughs>
Becky's waiting Thank to you, write Pat. down the time. I did. 